The worst thing about shame is that we imagine we are the only ones to experience it. I realize that I have left part of myself in a place where I shall probably never come back. Maybe the true purpose of my life is for my body, my sensations and my thoughts to become writing, in other words, something intelligible and universal, causing my existence to merge into the lives and heads of other people. I can no longer think of any way to change my life except by having a baby. I will never sink lower than that. I love my life. I like to be cosmopolitan. I would like to visit the whole earth and love it all. Sometimes I wonder if the purpose of my writing is to find out whether other people have done or felt the same things or, if not, for them to consider experiencing such things as normal. Maybe I would also like them to live out these very emotions in turn, forgetting that they had once read about them somewhere. Pain cannot be kept intact, it needs to be processed, converted into humor. I am beginning to reach the age when I say hello to the old women I meet in my neighborhood, anticipating the moment in life when I shall be one of them. When I was 20 I didn't notice them, they would be dead before my face had wrinkles. To exist is to drink oneself without thirst. I am endowed by shame's vast memory, more detailed and implicable than any other, a gift unique to shame. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Our channel Positive Vibes.